Hello, what is up guys? So this is Car X Street and this has been ported to Mac native for Apple Silicon, a surprise port if you will, a few days ago and I found out about it and I'm gonna make a video about it because I like this game, I really do. I, I played it a lot on Windows and I was wondering for a long time like this should be ported to Mac, I mean it runs on iPad already and but that's the mobile version that I don't like that one, I like the PC version like this one and it runs great and it looks great, you have cockpit view, you have all kinds of things and this is perhaps the first open world true open world racer for a Mac or perhaps even any kind of open world re uh, realistic racing game like GTA like it is not GTA like but kind of you know with cars you can customize them tune them and stuff right and I really like it it runs great as you can see locked in 60 FPS during day or night city or not doesn't matter I've set the frame rate to be unlocked uh, but I don't know, it's ignoring it, uh, so it's stuck at 60, now for me it's no problem, I always play at 60 anyway, but you can see there's a little bit of GPU headroom uh, in the meter right above, like 70% right now, and during night it can go up to 80. It is on the lowest settings, I'll show the settings later, but if I not uh, put it up a little bit, uh, then, yeah, then we're under 60, so th this is how you play it on the Mac Mini at 1080p at least. And so, but it, it looks really good, decent, and it runs good. I mean, 60, I'm happy with 60, and it's a locked 60, like I've driven half the map, uh, forest, uh, high speed highway, the city uh, during day and night, as you can see, and it doesn't matter, it seems to be very uh, glued or married to the 60 FPS, which is uh, good, and here I'm refilling the tank and refilling the nitrous. And we're going for a small drift adventure, and you you can you can crazy tune these cars in this game. Like you, you can go full autistic over this if you want. This. You can change everything, like all the settings, all the knobs, all the things. And it is online. It is multiplayer. By the way, speaking about the multiplayer, there are some issues with the easy anti cheat on Mac. Uh, if you buy the game and start it, it won't launch. It gives you an error in easy anti cheat, but no worries. The community found a fix, and I'll show you uh, later in a bit how to do that step by step, so you can start playing as well. But I uh, presume the developers will find a more permanent fix uh, at some point. But for now, it works, and you can play with uh, your friends or with random so it doesn't really matter right uh, and you have also DLC with which they intend to expand the map on and by the way these are the settings like I said the lowest settings uh, everything is low but yeah that it is what it is it's that base M4 Mac Mini I'm not expecting to play it on ultra settings right I mean if you are your fool it's never gonna happen with, with games you are gonna play it on the lower settings at 1080p I mean it is a mobile chip let's not forget it but I mean I'm so happy with this guys I really am I like this game, I, I really do, I, I think you should buy it, it's on sale right now, it's like, I don't know, a tenner, maybe less, maybe eight, I'm, I'm not really sure from the top of my head, but a tenner or something like that, it's not crazy expensive. And I had been waiting for years for this game, because they, they made a game before this, like Car X Drift, or uh, I don't know the name exactly, and I played it and I was like, damn man, this game really only needs an open world. And then they announced it and say, oh, it's coming next year. And then it was delayed with the year. And oh, all right, next year. And then it was delayed again with the year. And then it was delayed until, like, they did not even say any date. Not even a year. And it took years and years. And man, I thought I'm going to die before I'm going to play this. And now I can play it on my Mac because I sold my PC. So I, I couldn't play it anymore. Kind of sad. But now I can. And it's very, very, very good. And yeah. I hope you like it as much as I do and give it a try, I mean you can refund it always. And by the way, uh, let's have a look at the community uh, real quick because someone found a fix and shout out to him for finding this. If you go to Steam, to the news then, you know, here's the Mac news, I'm gonna give him a reward real quick, but here's Jay Fishing. Shout out to him, he found this fix, so you're gonna go to your install folder of Car X in the Steam library, right click and then click open in terminal, and then you're gonna paste the commands that I will put in the description one by one, like so, like here's the first command, enter, and you will see nothing like this, and it's fine, it's, it's working in the background, it's doing stuff, and you can ignore the rest. It's basically, I don't know exactly, but stopping the, the ARM version of easy anti-cheat and ensuring it runs to Rosetta because 
it doesn't really work natively right now and so more commands you can find them in the description and then after that it will work you can launch the game easy and cheat works and you can enjoy the game for yourself guys so i hope you like it and i'll see you in the next one bye bye